In this video, we will see queries using universe. In a web eye document, you can build queries in query panel using different data sources. Queries can be built using universe that contains data from OLAP or relational data sources. When you open a new web eye document, you have to select universe as data source to build queries on universe. A universe can be created in UDT, IDT tool of business objects. This opens query panel which shows you a list of all available objects on the left side. Result objects is where you drag objects from the left panel which you want to add in a web eye document. Let us move to SAP BO system and see how to build queries using universe as data source. Let's see how we can build the queries using the universe in the BI launchpad. So first of all, we'll go to the launchpad and we will create a new report based on the universe. So we will click on this new and we will select the universe as a data source. And here we have to select the universe on which we want to create our report. So the universe will contain the data from the OLAP and the relational data sources. So the data in the universe, it can be a relational data or it can be the hierarchical data. So here, once we will select the universe, we will be able to see all the objects in the universe on my left hand side. So I can see that we have five major classes here, which is the time period, store, product, promotions and the measures. So we can select the objects and the classes from this area. So once we are done with it, after that we have to choose the objects from the universe which I want to see in my report and I have to add it to my result object. So let's say if I expand it and if I want to see the year, quarter, month and then the then I have to select the revenue. So I want to see my revenue as per the year quarter and the month. So in the result objects area, I have to choose those objects which I want to use in my report. So I can have multiple objects in my universe, but I might not need all of them into my report. So I have to choose the objects and I have to add them to my result objects area. After that, we have this option of query filter. So let's say if I want to create a filter on the year, I can simply select that and I can drag it to the query filter area. Here I have to select like what I want to add it in the year. So I can select from the list of the operators which we have like in list, not in list, equal to, not equal to and here we can choose the value like whether I want to type a constant, whether I want to select the value from the list or I want to prompt it. So let's say if I want to select a value from the existing list and I want to select the value as 2006. So here I have added the query filter. Now if I will refresh this, I will be able to see my data for this year 2006. So I can see here that I have the year value, I have the quarter value, I have month value and I have the sales revenue value. After that, we can see the script of it. So let's say if I want to see what SQL query it is generating at the back end so I can use this option of view script. If I click on the view script, it will show me the query which is generated from this report. So this option is very useful when we have to do the testing. So when we do the testing at the database end, we can copy this query and we can run it on the database side to see whether my report has the values correct which are there in the database or not. After that, we have the option of this query properties. So if I click on this query properties, I can set the name of my query. I can set the universe name. So it is uh, taking the universe name automatically. Here I have the limit. So I can set the limit on the maximum rows which can be retrieved. I can set the maximum retrieval time. Similarly, if I want to, if I have any prompts in my report, I can set the prompt order like which one I want to make appear first. And then if I have any context which are getting used from my universe, so I can choose this option to reset the context on the refresh. And then 
Similarly, I have the option of the data, like whether I want to retrieve the duplicate values or not, then whether I want to allow the other users to edit the query or not. So I also have this option if I don't want the other users to edit the query of my report which I have created. I can uncheck this option. So now the, any other user will not be able to edit my query of the report. But if I want to allow it, I will select this and then I can click on OK. So these are the query properties which we have and we can set it from the query panel. Then we have the option of hiding and showing the panels. So if I want to hide this data outline panel, I can click on it. I can show and hide it using this toggle. Similarly, if I want to show and hide the query filter area, I can use this one. And then if I want to show or hide this data preview panel, I can use this option. After that, we have the option of scope of analysis panel. So if I want to show the scope of analysis panel, I can click on this and it will show me the scope of analysis panel. If I want to hide it, I can click on it again. Similarly, we have the option of combine query. So if I want to add a combined query, I can click on this and I can see here that I have the combined query option. So I can choose union, intersect, minus, all these options I can see in the query panel. So this is how we can create the queries using the universe. Thank you.